Hey, all you cool cats. Ready for a little fun? Huh, that's what I thought. Pop talk, Scooby Doo, Wah Doo, Wah. Pop talk, the fun never stops, you know. Pop talk, if you're a nerd or a jock, run, don't just walk. You ready to rock? You got pop talk. Now from Funko Hollywood, it's time for pop talk. Hey everybody, Brian Mariotti, today's guest, actress and comedian Kate Flannery. What's up? Most of the world knows her as Meredith Palmer from The Office. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. Yeah, so hey, we're hoping to throw some fun, whimsical, odd questions that hopefully you don't get too often. While we're doing that, we're gonna let you build a pop any way you want. Fantastic, so I have to walk and chew gum at the same time. Absolutely. You're asking me to build and speak yes. my truth at the same time. Okay. All right, we're good. Bring it on. You've done a lot of traveling in, in, yes. in your career. What's a place you haven't been to that you'd be dying to go to? My first choice is 1942, but I don't think that's on the menu. <laughs> Give me your go-to breakfast cereal as a child. My main one was Captain Crunch, unless we got King Vitamin, which tasted yes. exactly the same. Yeah. Or Freakies, which they sounded, they tasted the same too. Freakies. Great little yeah, You're going little good. Song, remember? Those are really good choices, by the way. <laughs> what was the one Halloween outfit you remember as a kid growing up that was like, oh, that one just stuck in my mind? I was Groucho Marx, <laughs> and it was the first girl-boy party. Way to go, Kate. Best childhood Christmas gift. I was obsessed with the show Annie, and my Aunt Kate, whom I'm named after, bought me a book that was a memoir of the making of the Broadway show. I still have the book. And I've also gotten to know the original Annie, or, uh, Andrew McArdle. She's now like a friend of mine, which is crazy to me. We did a benefit together like 10 years ago, and I kind of lost my mind. It was kind of nuts. Kate, if you were a superhero, who would it be? Hmm, I'm gonna say Batgirl. She was the one that made the first impression on me. She was amazing. She was a librarian by day, and she was Batgirl by night. She had uh, a motorcycle, which was, wh what was hotter than that? Yeah. I mean, the best outfit ever. Purple, gray, you know, lipstick, beautiful. Favorite song of all time? Oh my God, it's so hard to pick one. I'm gonna say Hi Ho from Snow White. Nice. I've heard some rockin' versions of it. I know that sounds nuts. Who's the funniest person from The Office? Steve Carell's still the, he's the funniest. He's the funniest because you never knew what he was gonna do. But he, he didn't tell jokes in between scenes, like, yeah. or in between takes even. Just when we were working together, his mind, he, we would do a different take and all of a sudden he'd be doing something completely different than he did before. And equally as brilliant, everything he, he did just surprised and delighted me. The hardest part of the job was just don't ruin the take by laughing, just keep it together. Keep it together, keep it together. Did you watch any kind of cartoons when you grew up? The Flintstones. We would take the ladder from our bunk beds and pretend it was a, a, a like a bus, you know, because with the feet coming out. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's funny. There's something about Flintstones where I can tell you and I's age group is within like a year. Totally, <laughs> totally. It's yeah. And and the first year of the Flintstones is so so much funnier than yeah, the rest of it. Yeah. And it got very like. I don't know, it felt like they had to make everything even, like suddenly, you know, there's pebbles, so uh, the rubbles have to have a kid too, oh, and yeah. then they have to have a pet because Dino's the there. Yep. I'm like, oh my, the whole, yeah, this, the, the, that's, like everything had to be symmetrical or something all of a sudden. That was my first childhood crush, Judy Jetson, when the, when oh the Jetsons, my God, the Jetsons came Jetsons, in, so, you know, on. absolutely. Eep, op, orc, ah, ah. That means I love you. I, <laughs> see? Oh my there God. There it is. Uh, it's about as geeky as it gets. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm not sure if this po uh, Funko Pop okay, is going to treat the audience like they're intelligent. Okay, your, uh, your, your creation for us. Okay, this is um, uh, Meredith if she was a bat girl, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and working out. Right. With a, with a little Funko dumbbell. Right? That's just awesome. She's just keeping up her, her, it's, her cardio. It's good. Kate Flanner, everybody, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for You're coming You're so on. awesome. Thank you, Absolutely. guys. Seriously. Thank you, Funko. To see this full Pop Talk interview and more, go to the Fun TV page at funco.com. <laughs>